Welcome Aquarius to your spiritual healing reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, we have crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. And then we have ascending the mountain, which is keep going forward. I love the crossing bridges because the crossing bridges is literally telling you, hey, look, cross this bridge, let go of everything that is holding you back. Um, you have the sacred scar coming underneath it, too. So it is talking about any pains that you do have. Remember, a lot of the pains that we have make us stronger. I know, you know, a lot of people are like, yeah, I've heard that before. Um, you know, but in a lot of ways, it is true. As they're mending and they're healing, they're actually helping us along the way. It's just the way that life is. We all have them. There's not a person on this planet that does not have a sacred scar. Um, whether you can see it or not is not the point. The marks are the marks of the soul of courage is what the sacred scar card is telling you. It's, it definitely is saying exactly that. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And yes, a lot of people get tired of hearing that. <laughs> that is for sure. And I, you know, I'm just like, I don't want to hear that anymore. Um, but they definitely are signs of strength and survival of your willingness to be alive. So maybe that's the best way to say that, right? The scar is speaks from which one has caused pain and has pain and but yet has transgressed from the pain. Right? So it causes a transgression, it causes a transformation into a higher knowledge and an inner peace within you. Trauma shall be transformed through spiritual initiation. Leading you from a wondrous Oh, from woundless, I'm sorry. You know what, guys? It's a little dark in here. From woundless to wisdom, you have nothing to be ashamed of. You trust your healing process and in the hidden higher purpose behind things happening as they do. You are strong and you shall flourish on all levels. Sorry about that. It is dark in here. I am doing these really late at night. I don't have my new glasses yet, so I'm kind of blind. <clears throat> okay, some experiences are hard to weather. So pretty much what they're saying is, you know, the purpose is, is that the tough lesson helps you grow. That's the point, right? Because we're karmic beings, right? And we're here as spiritual beings having a human experience, not humans having a human experience. So therefore, you know that as we weather ourselves through these tough times, we have to cross these bridges, right? We could burn the bridges if we want to. <laughs> That's not, it might not help though. Right, I think crossing the bridge would be the better thing, right? We don't want to burn too many bridges. We do that enough anyways. So this one says, don't burn it down. This one says, go ahead and cross it, right? Because if you just burn it, it doesn't help release it, right? It doesn't help release anything. It just burns it down so we don't, we can't, you know, really go that way. But the problem is with the sacred scar, it's saying if you burn down that bridge, guess what? Now you have to swim around the water. When you cross the bridge, you leave the, the bridge behind, now you're healed. Okay. This way, it leaves it behind you. If you burn it, it doesn't mean it's gone. That just means now you have to find another way around it. Right? So once you cross this bridge, leave it all that behind you. You can ascend the mountain and keep going forward. Now, the greatest thing about ascending the mountain over here and going forward is that this is saying on the other side of this bridge is this mountain. This mountain over here is everything that's laid in front of you, which are tens of blessings. And then you have the seven blessings of Eve coming out. And the seven blessings of Eve is telling you, yeah, look at what you have in front of you. Look at what I've given you. Look at what you can have. You have all these blessings that are sitting here. Why? Because you've gotten through everything you're supposed to get through. You have to grow and learn to get to a lot of the blessings, right? The extra blessings that we look for is because we did the hard work. And these are different kind of blessings. You can say, well, I know a lot of people that um, have a lot of blessings. They didn't do shit. Yeah, well, you know what? They might have a lot of stuff, and you're right. 
they might have not have done anything, but believe you and me, they're not getting anything out of it in the end. Because in seriousness, they're missing a lot, right? You'd be surprised what they're missing. They're missing knowledge. They're missing maybe, um, or how about this one? Common sense. <laughs> yeah. How about that one? You know, I've met so many people nowadays who just don't even have any common sense. You know, it's like common sense comes with knowledge, comes with intuition, it comes with being an intuitive smartness, right? If you didn't look, you know, both ways across the street and you got hit by a car, well, it's not that you're just dumb. You didn't have any common sense and you should have used your intuition and your gut feeling should have said, hey, you know what? Maybe I should look to see if a car comes. Yeah. You know, it's almost like if we were in a class, I'd be like, raise your hand when you met that person, right? And like everybody's raising their hand. Yeah. So there's all kinds of support. There's all kinds of things that come from crossing this bridge. There's so much more that's in within beauty and within joy, within vitality. How about just the blessings of being happy? They can sit over here and say that, yo, yo, I didn't do any of that, but are they really happy? Do they have the inner happiness? No, they're missing all kinds of stuff. They're missing grace. They're missing happiness. They're missing gratitude. They're missing all kinds of things that we are supposed to do as human beings that are experiencing this world. The glorious manifestation. You have innate talents and abilities which will support your your soul into full glorious manifestation. You have been blessed with a beautiful divine destiny to fulfill. You have natural healing ability. Now you learned what? What did I just say? You learned what? Crossing the bridges, learning how to do this gives you a what? Healing ability, a natural healing ability. Because you, when every time this happens, you're gonna say, oh, I remember this. Because I already crossed this bridge and learned how, I can do it again. And the person over there that has everything, oh, they can sit over there and just whine, right? Because they're saying, I don't know what you're talking about. And you're saying, I don't know what you're talking about because I'm happy and I had to cross the bridge. So it does come with innate wisdom. Oh, thank you. That was really the word, right? That was really the word that we we're looking for. Common sense and innate wisdom. Wow. Choose your thoughts and words so they reflect what you truly wish to put into your world because your influence is stronger and further reaching than you realize. So with the seven blessings of Eve, you have all kinds of knowledge and wisdom and all these things that are harnessing before you. So when you keep going forward and ascending the mountain, you might not be getting a Lamborghini. You might not be getting a mansion. Right? But I will tell you one thing. You will be getting... You will be getting higher self-esteem, higher consciousness, loving awareness, all kinds of love, happiness, serenity, feeling that you are blessed, and the abilities to know how to manifest and grow, which will bring you other things in life that are not just, you know, maybe materialism. Maybe that's all they're worried about, right? No, you don't have to look at that because you can say, I have nobility. How well, what about that? Okay, so there's so many other things that are right around the corner. You can get rid of confusion and all the things that you don't treasure to find the ultimate treasure. Joy, happiness, serenity, fearlessness. Not being blind, right? So you can see it in so many different ways than just what everybody else might be seeing. So what is it saying? Go ahead and relax. When you're crossing the bridge, make sure that you're in a relaxed meditative, restful mode. Letting go of things that no longer serve you. Could be letting go of people who are not generous towards your soul. Whoa. Why, is, why do we say soul? Because the six of coins is sitting here upside down on the seven of blessings, holding you back, not allowing you to move forward. Maybe people just say, why do you do this and that? 
Why do you watch these videos on spiritual readings? <laughs> what do they do for you? Maybe more than they realize. Maybe more than we all realize. We don't know yet, right? We don't know. We will do. Well, actually, we do now. Spirit just told us they move us up the ladder. That's what they do. They make us grow. They make us strong. They make us move into the right direction. Make us progress. Oh, wow, with the Queen of Cups. They make us progress into higher knowledge of the Queen of Cups. She knows more. She has self-love. She can perceive things in her cup. She can see, perceive all kinds of things that, you know, we need to know for ourselves. It just helps our lives be happier and it helps us get through this chess game a lot easier. And helps us grow the way we're supposed to be growing. That way we're not building karmic debts. That way we're releasing karmic debts without building more karma, de you know, karmic debts. There's got to be nothing worse than the understanding, right? Think about it, Aquarius. There's nothing worse than having the understanding that if, you know, we're karmic people, if we keep coming back, <laughs> if we keep coming back, right, if we really do and are reincarnated because of our karmic debts, how many times are we going to do the same thing over and over or build new ones? Because then we figure if we build new ones, does that mean we have to come back again and do the chess game all over again? So I say, leave the transgressions behind, get through the karmic debt that we need to get through, and try our hardest not to build more. And if we do start building them, learn how to transgress through them as fast as possible so that we don't take them with us to the grave, right? I mean, that's just my whole theory is like, if we do, you know, if, if it says, like it says that we, that we do lose that, it's kind of like, man, we got to grow through this guys. Cause I, you know, maybe we're just tired of coming back. Maybe that's why we're all here. We're tired. You know, we all understand spiritual readings. So we're like, we got to grow. We're tired of being back here. I don't want to come back anymore. And maybe that's what it's all about. Right. In the end, because you know, you just keep hearing the same thing. It's like those who want spiritual growth, it's because your soul knows you've been here many times and we're tired of being here. So we got to get it right this time. Right. <clears throat> it's like heaven, heaven help us all. Right. <clears throat> heaven help us all. Next time we come back, you guys, it's going to look like Star Trek. We're going to be out of the star, the star, uh, what is it? Starship Enterprise. That is my husband watches over there, right? I'll come back. Some galactic force. Be like, dang. And here we go again. Now it's like, what is it? 4072. Okay. So, anyways, getting a daily healing and inspiration card. I know, but I think about that sometimes. Like, oh my gosh. We got to get this right. I don't want to do this again. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Do something to improve yourself. Any improvement you make will benefit all of humanity. That's a good one for you. I will take this one too. Take responsibility for every thought and feeling. It can affect the whole universe. Wow, you got a lot of things that are affecting the whole universe. And the other one that was up right side up is take five or more minutes to concentrate on the divine feeling or a higher thought doing your best to block out all other distractions. And it makes me think of this person. I do feel like somebody has somebody around them that's like, why do you watch these things? And it's like, well, if you don't get it, maybe you never will. I've tried to explain it. <clears throat> so you just do what you feel comfortable doing and, you know, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Okay. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.